It's gonna find the green weeds. Yes, green weeds is what it's all about. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name's Kyle, got my buddy Seth here with me. And Seth's like, hey, I got on some crappies in this way back water kind of lake. We gotta go down a trail and way back over there and it's gonna be pretty tough gettings. We got the, the sled on, the four wheelers. He's got pretty, pretty light packed there, but uh, once we get back in there, we should start to catch some fish. And um, gotta find those green weeds. The green weeds. Anything else? Is uh, that, is that shallower, it? Shallower, I think. Shallow, okay. That's what I, I mean. I punched a bunch of holes and yep. used the camera. There they're sitting. All right, so let's go see if they're still there. Stay tuned, guys. Well, I just moved over to a little deeper spot, and uh, looks like there's actually marks at about that 12 foot mark. And I'm in a total depth of 20 foot, so maybe we can get into a suspended crappie here at about. I guess at 12 foot, looks like there's two of them on the screen as I'm dropping down. Drop now, we got one coming up already. Hopefully we can get a good hit here. Oh, we're on. Didn't even know we were on. It feels like a good fish actually, guys. Feels good. Look at that. Crop it. All right. Let's uh, get him back down there. And uh, look at that, there's still a bunch on the screen. Pretty nice. Let's do it again. Caught four crappie over there. What? Caught four crappie over there. That's that's what the guy was yesterday. Yeah. Was that you? That wasn't me yesterday? No, <laughs> I was working, dude. <laughs> yeah, they were it's 20 foot deep and they were all in the middle of the screen at 10 foot. Oh, he's coming up. Oh there you go, dude. You how's he feel? Nice. <laughs> nice dude. That's, that's a good fish. A good fish. That's oh, healthy. you got on a big old, you got on a plastic one, huh? Yeah. With a waxy on it. Yeah, that's fine. All sorts are rigged up. That's for game. That's awesome. Big baits, big fish. Seth's getting into them. Yeah, I'll keep that one. He's he's all right. Let's just catch a couple more now. And we can do that catch and cook. Good fish. All right, guys, so, um. Here. All right, guys. So it's really windy out here. Didn't feel that windy when we were back on the road, but we got out on the lake, and she's pretty windy. But uh, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up some jaw jackers, and um, this is what I caught that big pike on in one of the last videos there. But anyways, what happens is the the pole gets bent down like that, and then when the fish hits it, the rod snaps. If you don't know how they work, and it sets the hook in the fish's mouth. Um, but so what we have on, I'm gonna show you what our rig looks like here. So what we're doing for these, we're gonna try to catch some crappies on these. What we have is a super, super duper, it's six pound with a tiny, tiny, I think number 14 or number 16 treble hook. So this is gonna be a really, really finesse setup. And uh, hopefully we can't catch a couple crappies. I'm gonna put one over here, one over here. A lot of people this time of year, they like to run tip downs where the rod just kind of goes down and you run over and you grab it. Well, we don't have to run over and grab it. It'll just pow. So hopefully we can get some of that on camera because that'll be sweet. Something to smash it. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. That was so Look at that. that was so Instant. Instant crappie on the jaw jacker. Yes, guys. I'm going to let him go. Yeah. Crappie on the jaw jacker, guys. All right, guys, well, we, uh, I found this like nice drop off kind of, and it slowly drops off to 29 feet. We're in 20 feet, and the fish are suspended at that 10, 12 foot range. Got a jaw jacker right there. It's just been pop, pop, couple fish there, but only one fish, but they're down there. <clears throat> Seth's just got into a nice one there. And uh, I got another hole here and another hole back over there, but um, I wasn't able to keep up there for a minute. So I'm gonna drop or not drop that one down. I'm gonna drop another one down like that. So, here we go. Go a little deeper with it. Oh, there's a fish on here right now. It just needs to trip it. I'm gonna trip it. <laughs> oh, he got off at the hole and it was an all right one too. Oh, that wasn't that good. Oh. You weren't that far down at all. Just a good, uh, 
two arm lengths, you know, 10 feet or so. Oh, jaw jacker. Jaw jacker. Nice. Yeah. That's a keeper too. He's not a slabo, but he's a good, good eater for what we're what we want to eat, guys. Look at that hook, buried in the top of his mouth. Perfect. Right, we had a jaw jacker pop. Let's get it. Yeah, he's here. Tiny, little tiny, tiny guy. That's a fish tank size, guys. Get him back. popped right here she just popped look at that a dinker a little teeny tiny guy heck yeah look at that good old hooks are right in the top of the mouth here fish after fish another one yeah this one's a lot smaller though Fish, fish, fish. I uh, was cleaning a pike and I pulled four uh, wacky worms out of it. There we go, another. Another keeper there. Get into it. Oh, here comes one. This guy's gonna slam it. <laughs> he came up super hot. I seen him from the bottom. I had some. That's a keeper there. That's right on the edge. That's right. Yeah, I can't even see it. He choked it way down there. Holy smokes. Get ready to talk like Bassies. He choked it. Choked it. <laughs> oh, got him. Oh, this one feels nicer. Yeah, this is a really nice one. Look at that. I don't know. Actually, the last one's a little bigger. Choked it. Well, we just had to give him a little break from over here. Now they're back. This one can go back. He's small. He felt, he fought really healthy though. Thought he was big. Hey guys, a uh, little midday update here. Um, we got a little pile of crappies. Nothing, uh, you know, too spectacular of size. I've seen that there. A couple on the jaw jackers. Most of them jigging, but. It's neat to catch them on a jaw jacker just to watch the pulp. Seth's so still over here jig jigging away. Still nothing on tree then or no. here and there. Yeah. yeah, guys, it looks like a lake out here. Like, look at the water and the sun. Just look at that. So that's how much water's on the ice. And um, it is that time of year where the ice goes out and the water runs down the holes. I drilled this hole and it's already probably two inches wider than your regular eight inch hole. But when the water's flowing into the holes, it's a good day. Um, super warm out, we probably got, what is it? Almost 60, right? But it's windy, it's really windy. So uh, we're gonna fish for a little while longer and then uh, wrap it up, get them guys filleted and uh, chow them down back at the house. Are they taking a bath? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, welcome back. We're back at the house. Gonna fillet these little guys up here and uh, get ready for our catch and cook. All right, got the fish off laid up guys and uh, got some nice fillets. Just gonna rinse them under some water, do a final bone inspection, and then uh, we'll get them battered up. We are back at home, while well, we've been at home, but uh, got the fish filleted up, got them cleaned up. We got some nice big old crappie fillets, actually not giant, but already all right ones. And um, we got the electric, like hot, I don't know, electric hot pad or whatever you would wanna call this thing and we got the oil up to temperature. And then this is just a bunch of shore lunch just poured in one bag. I like to use a big gallon bag so you can like 
flop your fish around and get your fish all coated. So we got probably about four in this we'll go here. <clears throat> now we got the chickens out yet. They were pulling along. It's old. They think it's they think it's the fruit. Look at. They think it's chicken food. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Not what you think it is. We give them the chicken, the meal worms, and they think it's they think it's those. All right, so we're gonna lay them in there. It's not as hot as I'd like to see it bubble in and stuff, but it should be all right. We had one that um, was like an actual like kind of walk kind of thing, and the handles broke off it, so we had to get rid of it. This works just as well. It smells so good. I'm actually going to try to get five or six blades in there. Really, really close. Yum. Delicious. Catch and cook. <laughs> As I'm going down to yeah. chickens. Should we do a catch and cook with one of the chickens? Should we do a chicken catch and cook? Mm -hmm. We love our chicken. This, like, midsummer because we'll have well, a couple yeah. to eat. So then we'll do a catch and cook with chickens. Because we're going to get some eater chicken. A couple to eat. Ain't that right? We don't want you guys because they make eggs and they make good eggs. How is it? Do you me? Mm. Focus. I always try to get that focus shot on there. There we go. Fish. Fish are crappie. Hope so, because that's what it is. Well, guys, that's about it um, on today's episode. Hope you enjoyed the uh, jaw jacker crappie episode and uh, just jigging crappies. It was fun. It uh, is coming to an end quick. Ice season is almost done. The way the water was going down the holes today was really, really crazy. So depending on what this weather keeps up like, it uh, might be done really, really soon. So it's not going to stop us. We got the boat back behind the shed there and we're going to get the boat out sooner than later. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.